to the learning city today you will learn six things about the chat gpt the first thing is the sign up process an important trick in the sign up process the second is the sign in process the first look at the chat gpt the previous conversation with the chat gpt and how to delete it capabilities and limitation of the chat gpt and the third one is an important the last is query writing let's go to the browser open the browser write chat.openai.com this is the website of the chat gpt your browser will be checked and forwarded now here you will see the two things sign in login and the sign up first we will go to the sign up process here is the three things for the sign in a sign up uh, one is your email address second is the continue with the google and third one is a continue with microsoft if you sign up with your email address you cannot log in with continue to the google and continue with microsoft if you sign up with the google you cannot directly log in with your email address i have already created an account i will click the login and i have created the account continue with the google but i will show you the error if you continue with google and directly sign in your with your email address i click continue i will enter my password here and here you will see an error you tried signing in as my email address using a password which is not authentication method you use during the sign up try again using the authentication method you use during the sign up error is generated identity provider mismatch because i have sign up through the google and i am trying to sign in directly now i will click on the login and i will click continue with the google you have to remember your choice what you have selected during the sign up process now i will sign in with the google entered my password and click next i will be redirected to the chat gpt website here you can see that is a free research preview next done this is the look of the chat gpt here example capabilities limitation and on the very left side uh, you can see that uh, uh, it remember my history the chat history i have done with the chat gpt look at example capabilities capabilities are remember what users said earlier in the conversation and you have said you have uh, look at my previous history allow user to provide follow up connection within the same query i will tell you these things later in the query process and the third one is a train to decline in inappropriate request it will be declined if you ask something inappropriate limitations may occasionally generate incorrect information may occasionally produce harmful instruction or biased content limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021 you can clear the chat on the left side confirm and my chat has been deleted you can click dark or light mode i have selected the dark mode now i will enter the query and i will show its capabilities and its limitation first i will enter the query and i will ask that uh, top 10 programming languages in 2020 as it has the limited knowledge after the 2021 now it will oh i have done an error that i will i write that languages on i have to write languages in 2020 now it will generate the answer for me and it's totally artificial intelligence okay here is the list of the 10 programming languages in 2020 based on popularity now it have generated answer for me the first one is python java and etc i can regenerate the response and i can ask the next thing now you can see on the left side it uh, added in my chat history i will ask another thing about the python what is python 
you can see it will remember that what I have asked previously from it you have to wait for a couple of seconds you can click stop generating or wait for the complete answer now it is producing the complete answer for me you can click stop generating or wait for the complete now the answer is complete you can give the feedback now i have asked another query about the python how i can learn python now it will give answer about the learning of the python you can click dark mode or light mode here are some steps to learn python now it is producing the steps for learning the python you can produce the slides from it also now the answer is generated it generate the five steps now i will ask another query about the python can you i am asking from the uh, chat gpt now look at the answer <clears throat> can you develop voting system in python i am asking from the chat gpt and look at its answer it's in interesting you can edit your query by clicking on the edit icon now it's answer me yes you can develop a voting system i am asking from the chat gpt and it's answer me that yes you can now you can see that it's it has the limited knowledge now i i will ask another thing from it i am asking him and now i will ask the chat gpt in another query i click on the stop now provide me the code for voting system i am asking about it that provide me code for the voting system let's see it generate code or not Here is a simple code example to get started a developing a voting system in Python. Now look at the code. It's generating the code. You can copy the code from here and paste in any IDE. Now it's generating the functions, cost vote, display result, the main function, while function, the for loop. interesting it will develop a small voting system for me i can copy from here and paste anywhere i want display result function now the code is over i can copy the code from here by clicking the copy code button now you can see it's a performance 